Hey, it's Doug Wolf with Town Real Estate Group, and today we're going to be bringing you the market analysis uh, from our multiple listing system, RAIN, Real Estate Information Network. It is going to be for the month of January 2013. Check it out. I'm wearing a tie. It doesn't get any better than this. Anyway, we've got some great numbers to go over and take a look at for the cities of Norfolk, Chesapeake, and Virginia Beach, and we're going to get right to those. For 2013, January, I went ahead and just pulled up the data uh, so we could see a little bit of history there from July since we're starting a new year. Anyway, number of uh, units that were currently on the market in the month of January in Norfolk, Virginia, 1,297 uh, units properties for sale that number down uh, just about five percent versus last january at this time and you can see it's 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 been down for a while uh the inventory keeps going down and down number of units sold though 161 and that number actually went up a little bit almost four percent and the median sold price 152,500. the percentage in that changes is over 17 percent of, of a price increase. We're pretty sure that that's because there's a lot of flipping going on in Norfolk. People taking um, a $30,000 house, either knocking it down and building a $120,000 house or, or rehabbing it. Um, but we're pretty sure that that's the reason why you're seeing such a huge number there in the city of Norfolk. And current months of inventory, 6.63, which is a normal, normal market uh, for having uh, that months of inventory. City of Virginia Beach, 2,119 properties were on the market in the month of January. That number down almost 17% uh, for Virginia Beach, which is, um, which is wow, it's, it's certainly not as low as it was in December or November or October, but you can certainly see it's, it's a low number. Uh, number of units sold, 367, and that number's up 16.5%. Uh, so, Properties are still selling. We're just getting shorter and shorter on inventory. Median sold price, 220000 and that price went up 5%. That's, uh, that's not too bad. That's a nice price growth. And you can see, because inventory is so low, our months of inventory is only at 4.46%. So uh, it's, it's a great time to sell if you can afford to sell. And the way to know that is to do a market analysis to determine the value of your property, uh, certainly in the city of Virginia Beach. Chesapeake, 1,376 properties uh, were on the market in Chesapeake in the month of January. That number down 19% um, over last year at this time. You can see Chesapeake's numbers are down. And the uh, number of units sold, 227, <laughs> it's up 25%, uh, more than 25% of where it was last year at this time as far as units sold. Once again, homes are selling at market value because right here, median sold price is still only 1.7% growth in median sold price. So homes are not, homes are flying off the shelf at market value and market value is still pretty much where it was last year at this time. Months of inventory in Chesapeake, 5.14%. Something I wanted to hit on on this that I did pull off uh, some data today is the distressed, which are REO and short sales versus total residential active units. Um, and this is for resale only. It's got nothing to do with the construction. Month of January, 27% of our active market in the month of January was either a short sale or an REO property. And um, I mean, we look at that, the primary reason for that is because the non-REO property inventory is so low that the percentage of REO and short sales has certainly gone up. 2,293 properties uh, in the month of January for all of rain, not just these three cities, for all of rain, 20, almost 2,300 properties were either REO or short sale. And as I said, that made up 27% last month. December, it was uh, 28%. And uh, November, was 27%. So right there, that last quarter of 2012 and starting this year, 2013, lots of REOs on the market in comparison to the non-REOs. So pretty much, if you're looking at houses as a buyer, probably one out of four is going to be a short sale or a foreclosed property. 
And, uh, and that's your competition, Mr. Seller. If you're looking to sell, right now you are competing with the REO in the short sale market, which is driving your price down. So my name is Doug Wolf. Let me know if you'd like a market analysis on your property. I'd be more than happy to get that done for you. BetterCallDoug.com is our website. My phone number, 757 515 Two eight. Make it a great day. I will be back uh, next month with February's numbers.